Hey everyone, welcome back to Roulette Fever. Approximately a month ago, I came up with a strategy where we were covering the board, the entire board, on the basis of certain zones on the wheel. I made that video on European Roulette, so some of you asked me to make this same video on the on uh, sorry on the American Roulette, uh, so that it it will be easier for you to understand or to execute it. And I gave some explanations in the comments, but. Uh, some of you still wanted to see this video and see this strategy to be played out on American Roulette. So here it is, guys. And we're going to bet on the basis of the zones of the wheel. I'm going to post the picture of the wheel on the screen for you so that you can, all of you can understand on the basis of which zones we are going to bet. Okay. So we're going to start with $1, obviously, in this case. But on the European Roulette, we were starting with $2. Okay. Here we are going to start with one dollar on each and every number because it's American roulette, obviously. So yeah, let's begin. And we are going to follow a progression, but it's going to be a really short one. Those of you who who have seen that video, you know, on European roulette, will know exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to bet on twenty-four numbers on the basis of the wheel. Okay, this one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, let's begin. And as I said, it's gonna be a really short progression. Okay. We have started with a win. Great. We are not gonna do anything when we win. Okay. And I've intentionally kept this progression really short, you know, because it's a high risk, high reward kind of a strategy. So there is no need to drag it too long. If it's not working for you on a certain day, we'll have to accept it. That's all. And there are two ways we are going to call it a day. Either when you reach the extreme step of the progression or another case is there, which I'm going to explain, obviously. But in this case, we are going to increase our bet size by one dollar in each and every bet because we have lost. Yeah, we win again and immediately after a win, we're going to come back down to our best bet. Okay, let's spin. Okay, another win. Great. As you can see, we're increasing slowly, but steadily. But you can use 50 cents. Okay, that's not an issue. I just wanted to give the demonstration on American Roulette, how you can play it. And if you see the wheel of the American Roulette, you will see that these numbers are stacked in certain zones, you know, side by side. Okay. So in European Roulette, it was a bit scattered, not side by side, but they were, uh, even they were in, a, in certain zones, you know, even though they were not side by side. But on the wheel of American Roulette, you will see that they are also side by side but they are divided in certain zones okay we have another win we are already up by 60 and we didn't need to take the progression that much deeper anyway we have another win i think yeah we do we're up by 72 let's see if we can get 200 i'm going to explain the progression anyway this strategy also working amazingly on European roulette. So I wanted to give it a try on American roulette myself. And also many of you requested me to make this video on the American roulette because many of you were skeptical and some of you were confused too on how to use this on American roulette. Okay, we have lost. So we are going to increase our bet size. We have another win and immediately we're going to come back down to our base bet. Okay, let's spin. So there's another way when you can walk away, as I was saying, you know. Uh, you can walk away when, let's say that uh, through progression, you are losing back-to-back -back rounds, okay. You went till the extreme step of on the 
fourth step out of the fifth step of the progression because that's the maximum we are going to go through progression you know uh we are going to go until the five dollars on each and every number that's the maximum we are going to go so let's say that you have owned that round and through degradation you have come down to the first step then you can walk away also because you you will be on session positive okay so you can also walk away at that time and other than that you can walk away anytime you want to this is gonna be our last bit if we win this one i'm gonna wrap this video but i don't think we have won. no okay we're gonna increase you can have your own session target but i've given you two scenarios one negative and one positive when you can walk away okay one either when you reach the extreme step of progression and you don't win you can walk away at that time because that will be considered as your stop loss for the session or when you come back down to your base bit through degradation you can walk away at that time too okay or you can have your own setup target we think we have another loss we are not getting to 100 but we haven't needed to take the progression that much, you know. We have another win. We do. Again, I'm going to decrease. As I said that uh, these numbers are easier to find on American roulette. But I used it earlier on European roulette so that every one of you can you know, understand it. Every one of you can use it. But in American roulette, these numbers are easier to find. They are stacked together, you know, side by side. And that's why you see these numbers keep on coming. We have another loss. Great. <laughs> We're going to increase this time by $1 once again on each and every bit. So finally, when we are close to our target, we have seen some losses, but that's fine. Otherwise, this video would have been of no means, you know. It would have, it would have felt so colorless without these losses. These losses has made these losses have made this video a bit more exciting. We have a win, I think. We do, and we are going to decrease our bit size. Yes. We're gonna go down. Let's spin. We have another loss. Wow. I'm gonna increase once again. It's a high pay in pay out kind of strategy, you know, high risk to reward. Because we are betting on the basis of the will. So you will see. Sorry, not this one. I think I should have put this one. Yes. So you will see most of the times that your number will come up. Okay. But there will be occasions when you will have bad luck. And you will have to deal with it. Okay. We are on the not on the extreme step of the progression. But from close to 100, we have come back down so much. Okay, let's spin. Now let's say I was talking about this, you know, we have on this one. So let's say if we go, go back to the base bit through degradation, you can walk away at that point of time too. Because you will be in session positives at least, you know. Okay, let's spin. I'm just going back down one step at a time. We have another win. Again, I'm going to go back down one step in the progression degradation. If you feel safer going down two steps at a time, you can do that. If you want to. We have another win, I think. Yes, we do. Now we are back to our base bit. We're going to go back to our base bit. 
as you can see already we are up by 48 so at that this point of time you can easily walk away you know this is what i was talking about we have another win great Let's see if we can get to 100 this time or not. We have another win, I think. Yeah, we do. As I said that I've derived, derived these numbers from the win, so you're going to win most of the times. But as the it's a high risk, high reward kind of a strategy, it's a loss, I think. Yeah, it is a loss. So you'll have to cope with this loss to progression and degradation, you know. Sorry. I'm going to increase. It's a win, I think. Yes, it's a win. And we are going to go back to the base bet. I'm not going to give up until I reach 100. <laughs> we are so, so close. We are up by 96. And then... But I could show you the progression at least. It's another loss, I think. Yes, it is another loss. I'm going to increase again. It's a win, yes. Let's spin. You are going to go as far as the fifth step, you know, not above that. Remember that. I started with $2 on the European roulette, but in, in the case of American roulette, I started with $1, okay? You can start with $0.50 cents also. And don't go above... The fifth step, okay. We're again back to 96. Let's see if we can win this time. I think we have a win. So as I said, guys, this strategy really works amazingly. It worked on Amer European roulette. And as you can see, this has worked on American roulette too. Those of you wanted to see how it works on American roulette. It's easier to find these numbers on the American roulette. As I said, they're stacked together in certain zones. In European roulette, it, it was a bit scattered. You know, these numbers were a bit scattered. But anyway, use it with caution. Start with $1 or 50 cents. Go as far as the fifth step, okay? And walk away at any time, according to your comfort zone, okay? Whenever you want to. Give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. And keep on supporting, guys. I'm going to see you on the next video.